Hello, my name is Mike Koenix and I'm the Market Development Specialist for Corteva Crop Protection in Illinois. And I'm Matt Montgomery, I'm a field agronomist in the central and west central part of the state of Illinois for Pioneer. We're all anticipating that in 2020 corn acres will be up. We didn't get all the fall fertility done in the fall, yeah. so there's going to be a lot of work to get done this spring. One of the big topics will be how do we manage nitrogen, how do we get it on, and make sure that it's around for that corn plant to utilize. I think a critical part of that story is going to be the use of nitrification inhibitors like Inserve. That's absolutely critical. We have a tendency, Mike, to think that we don't need to do that just because it's the spring. Absolutely need to do that, and I know we've been talking amongst ourselves. We have some reasons that we've talked about that it really makes sense to think about that as part of the schedule, as part of the plan this, this spring. Absolutely. Yeah. NSERV is a proven nitrification inhibitor yep. that's been helping growers maximize their nitrogen investment for over four decades. And especially this spring, I think the value will be growers can confidently apply their pre-plant anhydrous and know that that nitrogen will be there in the summer when that corn plant needs it to determine yield. And that really ties us into some points we were talking about earlier, that literally there are four different things I think of that mm -hmm. become really important when it comes to this subject. Using a nitrification inhibitor is all about yield, it's about risk, it's about efficiency, and it's also about fertilizer freedoms into the future. We never know what the weather is gonna be. Yep. We never know what those risks are. We know that nitrogen is a leaky nutrient. Yep. So being wise about when we apply it, how we apply it, the rates, and then protecting that to keep it in the yep. root zone so it's available to that corn plant later in the season is very important. Absolutely, and yield-wise, uh, you know, I, I think it's pretty straightforward there. We have all sorts of great genetic yield potential that we're putting down in the field, and nitrogen is the number one nutrient that we need to maintain as much of that yield potential as possible. And so when we pull back on something like a nitrification inhibitor in the spring, we're actually increasing the chances that we may pull back away significantly from that yield envelope, that yield potential that we're hoping to push closer to. Absolutely, and there's also environmental impact. We yep. all know that there's a lot of people watching nitrogen, they're watching nitrate rates, or nitrate levels in, uh, in streams and water yep. supplies. And so everything we can do to keep that nitrogen in the soil profile, in the corn plant versus getting it away is very important. And in tools, like NSERV and Instinct do a great job of helping us keep that nitrogen for the crop. I had a habit of referring to it as maintaining our fertilizer freedoms because that's exactly what it is, Mike. So one other thing I get to thinking of is efficiency and mm -hmm. that's efficiency on getting the most bang out of each uh, unit of nitrogen that we apply. And then also, not that it's the only thing that influences lodging, but you know, nitrogen nutrient deficiencies can accent the chances of us seeing lodging in the fall. So really, this doesn't eliminate all of those issues, but it is part of the plan to make harvest time a little bit more efficient by increasing the chances that we're gonna have a crop that's still standing at the end of the season. You're right, because that corn plant maturing with enough nitrogen will ensure better yep. stock quality, and corn that's standing is a lot friendlier at harvest time. You run out of nutrients, there's only one place that plant can get it. It's gotta rob the stock. Right. and that means we're going to see lodging. Absolutely. And so I encourage all growers to sit down, visit with your Pioneer agronomist, visit with your retailer that you may be purchasing your nitrogen from, and build a plan around that input. It's so important. That concludes this Pioneer Agronomy video podcast. Visit our page on pioneer.com and follow us on Twitter and Facebook for more agronomy insights.